I just wanted to show people that um, I don't spend willy-nilly. Nay, nay, I do not. And, um, you know, I like, I like Scotiabank, but I don't like the services. And I didn't like the way that TD treated me. So I don't expect the other banks to be different, quite frankly. And, you know, And going back further, you see, and I don't have any Bitcoin either. Every time that I've had money, I've had to use it to survive. Or I invested it in local businesses. Because that's how you think like a billionaire. You know, the, the simple, simple, simple path to wealth, etc. You know, I, all I, all I wanted was to finish my project car and not have to be a slave for it at $42 an hour plus a hundred dollars a day. It's not enough. Okay. Furthermore, here you go. Right in front of you. You want to see my history? Let's look at my history. Oopsie. Now I've made decent money with Newton. So I don't necessarily blame them. For being pinched by regulators and by the uneducated. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, we're trying to remember where to find. And these were my three primary investments Bit, BTC, Ethereum, and XRP. Because I listened to other people. Uh, I don't have money to make money right now. And I'm concerned that the Canadian government is intercepting any donations that may be happening. Anyways, uh, okay, so I'm going to open up my um, netcoins next. Okay, I don't use net co netcoins very often. But it is very important that you read these contracts. Anyways, let's go this through this whole thing. Freaking stake me, you know, the gambler. Virtual currency. It's interesting how they label it that. It's, uh, you know, uh, there's cryptocurrencies and then there's value stores. 
There's a big difference between the two of them. Okay. Except, you see, I have nothing only because I tried to do my very best with what I had, the people I had around me, and the work that I've done. I am not a criminal. <laughs>